Hello everyone, Nazano Gami here, and welcome to a new Weird Games Let's Play. This time we are playing Hylix. So, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Nitro Rad. I first saw this game through his channel, through his little review of it, and it's like, okay, this is a weird looking game, and it's in Claymation too. And, uh, you don't see Claymation much in video games, like, the one that comes to my the one that comes right to the top of my head is uh, the Neverhood, and uh, it's equal Skull Monkeys. I've never actually played those games, but I did watch videos of them. And I'm when you have a video game in claymation, you tend to remember it. So I saw some of the video, Natural Rad's video. I get maybe a general idea. I don't know, but let's see. So is this a cutscene? A, a merry microcosm mo mostly batters the text. The people parn inside a microcosm. It is a spirit below a clean science. It is kind of a chemical. Beside lard. Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, sort of prepares a vessel out of the littlest skeleton microcosm. Thus your story begins. Act 1. Ah, I can move a character. And, uh, Wayne, we are Wayne, with flesh and will. Huh, I'm already reminded of Middens. In which you get, uh, things representing, heading like, health and HP as different names, and nonsensical dialogue. Powers, hypno-sigils. Probably causes enemies to fall asleep. Get dressed. We got a pistol. Dozier. Wayne is feeling mild. We got mightiness texture, jollity cooking. Cooking. Guts and philology. Oh yeah, we can also save and do options. animations and we have zero dollars so I guess this is Wayne's house and we have a cat meow and it kind of looks like our character Wayne it's your life savings you got 53 bucks we got a TV Learn a blend of hollow pleather. We got a crystal. Which I guess does nothing. Our place is infested with bugs. Maybe you should bathe. Okay. Your flesh and will were restored. Well, that's nice. Toilet. <laughs> a warm burrito was found in the toilet. And we also got toilet paper. Revives dead outline, restores 50% of flesh. And we can wear the toilet paper. Eh, no changes though. But then again, it's toilet paper. So, what are we gonna do as Wayne? We got trash cans. You accidentally crushed it. 
trash can lid was found. Is it armor? Deflector? Well, it raises evasion, so... Okay, then. So, Gibby the Moon King is doing something. The Northeast is a, is a furtive city of, uh, villager spooks. May feeling endure a thousand years. And what does our character, uh, Wayne, have to do with anything? And we got a horse. Vegetable. That's a vegetable. Okay, then. If trees and shrubs are vegetables. Oh, we got 13 of them. 50% flash removes negative status. We already got a world map. Do not touch the ambulance skulls or you will die. Don't touch the skulls, got it. To initiate warp, make contact with the central node. Unauthorized access is discouraged. Thank you for your understanding. Gather your apparel. So this is a warp zone? And those are enemies? Well, it's a good thing they fear dotted lines. And I guess we have our own ship. Josh Spucks, the furtive city. Smear domicile invisibly. Meat. From what I've read, uh, a lot of the dialogue is randomly generated. You wear the Wicked Cone Cultist. Mythagarrier. I guess these names are a mishmash of whatever as well. And we crushed our cat. We crushed the couch. Let me see, we have chests. Dynamite! Of course you take it! Who just leaves dynamite laying around? Huh. So we already got our store. Dynamite's so expensive. We got a frozen burrito. Got something that recovers will. Resell the toilet paper. Two bucks. Okay. So we get a store already. Fine. We don't have any frozen burritos. So, we have no goal, as far as I can tell. And pretty much, well, a lot of these characters are saying so far are just, uh... It's just nonsense. <sighs> the 
another store. <laughs> so expensive. Four four thousand dollars for a fork. And the bat is better than our pistol? Okay. Seriously. Oh, that's because the pistol has no bullets. Where if, where if we will get bullets later on? I'll hang on to the gun. Guess there was nothing in there. You stink. I'll just raid your lunchbox then. So I guess bathtubs are our little heal all places. Who knows what these things are for? Learn special abilities from televisions. Keep an eye out for TVs then. Flesh take or splash dash. Attack, rest, guard. But, amidst these little bits of, uh... We find, actually find some, uh, sensible dialogue. Oh, man. <laughs> well, we barely have anything now. Spare a lot. A lot of our money on a bat. A lot of stores. And that table looks like my head. So, I'm actually guessing that we are supposed to go to the warp world and that this city is just the general hub area. Like the place where you can uh, buy items. You have a bathtub you can heal in, but we got a bathtub at our house we can just use for free. Have we been up here? Um, on a side note, Wayne's animation looks so weird. It's like a robot trying to learn how to walk and failing miserably. Um, hey, stay still, guy. I want to talk to you. Witness our being. So I guess we got a cult this way. On the mountain. We have it saved. Ah, we initiate a battle. What's the app holder? Oh, Hollow Pleather. Guards and heals for 30%. Probably puts enemies to sleep. Cone Cultists. Coneheads! And we're gonna die already. Let's 
try this. Sleeping dead. Sulking and sleeping. Oh, we just dodged it. I think it's... Let's use an item. Vegetable. And it's good when you hover over an enemy, uh... You can, you can see their status effects. Take that! Ooh, got $150! And a lot of items. And they just explode into a pile of gore. And I see a pile of money here. Just find 50 bucks just laying out in the open. Ooh, here's some more money. Hello, you. I am named Dedu's Moon. I have spent my life searching for the paper cup. I have finally tracked it to these ruins. It is buried somewhere amidst the fallen monuments. Okay, let's help. You are a fellow artifact seeker, perhaps. You can bring me the paper cup. I'll be so unimaginably stoked. You can try and dig for it by pressing the space key while standing over the artifact's location. You can determine the location by using the machine to my tent. Turn it on and then take a nap. It'll project the vision into your mind. Large up. I hope he just, just doesn't go and rob us. Oh wait, I gotta turn on the machine first. Cannot comprehend the... Ah, there we go. And that beep was a discord. X between uh, a hand and two intestines. I am the Sage of Brains. I grant you my token. Seek my siblings, the Sage of Computers and the Sage of Death. They will also give you tokens, for therein lies the path to enlightenment. Another side quest? Next question, how do I leave? Just go back to sleep? Yep. So, let's see, it's behind uh... <sighs> There's a walking TV! The whole place is infested with enemies. And cash! I'll fight you for the cash! Let's try putting them all to sleep again. Music is very muted. And the background is so trippy. Let's, let's try this. Guards and heels. That's nice. And you're sulking. 150 bucks, more meat, juice box, frozen burrito, meat, meat. And it explodes into a pile of gore. I'll take that cash and... What are you? Tongues? A flesh stash. Wait a minute. 
what is it like attack rest guard ah uh. oh wait special I meant to do it was this I meant to do not regular guard Ah, dang it! And I'm dead. And I exploded into a pile of gore. In graphic detail! But it looks like it's not game over. And we see these crystals and fish flopping around. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. Okay, so death is never the end. Which makes me wonder what's down here. More fish. Huh, I can build sandcastles. And trample on them. So I guess this is the afterlife? Your TV set. Oh, can I get? We can just watch it from behind. Calibration. It really increases mightiness. I guess mightiness is strength. Good thing we hung on to that dynamite. So I guess this is the afterlife. With fish and hot dogs. Feel free to crash on the couch. Amid the lilies floats the moth, the mole along his galleries goeth in the dark earth. And we get a, we get a poem. Use a machine over there to convert any meat you found into flesh points. I've got meat. Remnant of any being you destroyed. I got meat. Maximum flesh rose 14 points. So I got an HP increase. We need another nap after that. Same poem. Tether the portal. Ah, uh, so that's what these things are for? What do we do? We just click on a crystal and... Ah! Okay, I get it. That's what crystals are used for. They can teleport you wherever after you activated them. So, I guess meats are flesh points are equivalent to experience points, and you can use them. So far, I've only gained uh, extra health. But, I don't see an increase in any other stats. Oh wait, we got 491 bucks as well. Could buy something, but... Gonna wait a bit longer. It could go on for a bit longer. Also, gameplay-wise, and... ah, oh, They even kept my remains right there! Those flesh stashes are so aggressive. And there's a walking TV set too. 
And hey, there's another head of mine. And dang it, Discord keeps beeping. Trying to find the other symbols. But having a hard time with all these enemies around. Success! Now let's just take them out one at a time. But anyway, uh, on the tangent of sleep. So you get meat, aka EXP, by killing enemies, but you can only use those EXPs. when you're dead so what do we know of the plot so far I don't see a plot I mean, we're just a guy named Wayne. And we are walking around killing cultists. And we're also on a side quest. to uh, find an artifact. Ah, dang it! And I don't see a run option. Let's use a juice box. And these items pop up so gratuitously. You guys asleep. I was actually hoping to get to the tent. In time to uh heal up. It looks like that's not the case. you off. Really, I'm just trying to avoid the- DANG IT! And we get a new enemy as well. And what the heck? I just pressed right! I, pr I just pressed the right key and- Guess it went into auto attack. Or auto battle. Well, let's turn in our meats. Really want to increase in will, though. So it just gives you more HP. 
It doesn't give you more will, and it doesn't increase any of your stats. And I should have taken a nap. Before uh, going back. But, got a lot more money, so I can go buy things. Better equipment will do. Was it you? Yeah. Maybe I, need, I think I need better armor. Armor that isn't toilet paper. By the way, this game is available for Steam for $3, or close to $3. Uh, can't too large to be worn with any other armor. Hmm. So, so what do I do? Well, let's see. Ah, uh, but it gets rid of my shield. There's the downside. But I don't see any, uh... It doesn't show any, uh, changes in stats, though. Wayne is feeling larger. I guess, would texture be defense? I guess he feels large because of the giant bell he's wearing. Hmm. I was dual wielding. Awesome. We got this with a chance to inflict poison. Or something to prevent blind. Eh, but we can't. Might as well go buy ahead. Bleh, go ahead! Buy the cheaper armor, too. Oh, it's hit points, not defense. But let's see. Looks like it would be a good place to stop. So, we learned a whole lot of things, but at the same time we learned a whole lot of nothing. But, th this game is still, le still leaving me uh, curious. Like, we are actually going to go somewhere with this, or is this just going to be pointless? We'll find out next time. But until then, this is Nazo signing off.